Good afternoon everybody, it's Denise here, Denise Junk Journals UK. Thank you so much for joining me, it's lovely to have you here on this lovely um, Friday. Some, well it's morning for me, it'll be afternoon when you see this if you're in the UK. Um, yeah, it's a sunny morning but we've got cloud and wind and yeah, mixed, mixed weather day, a normal kind of England weather day I would say. Okay, so we're here with a stitched in um, William Morris. So this is the William Morris kit from Nanine at Collage Type and I, I can't remember if I've actually put the kit, I don't think I have, so I'll do it on this video and put a link to the kit. I, the, a link to Nanine is always in um, to her link tree and, and all her Etsy and things, but I'll put a link to this actual kit and make it easier for, for you to find in this video. Cut a few strings off. Um, so yeah, I've splodged it as you can see. There was a bit of a splodge that I wasn't keen on there. I know some of you don't mind splodges like that, but um, it is going to have a pocket on there, so that's okay, it will be covered up. Yeah, and I'm loving the others. I put a little bit of white, a little bit of gold, and I have given it another um, coating with this, which I'm really liking. The uh, Distress Collage Medium, yeah. So it's really, I can see and feel that it really is protecting it. Yep, so I'm pleased with that. I stitched, no I didn't, I glued um, the front and back covers in. You saw them, you just didn't see them glued in and then um, and I've literally just finished sewing it in so I am just going to have a quick run through and I thought I might as well do it with you watching. Can you see? Yeah, make sure everything's in where it should be. Now if we've made any boo-boos, if there are upside down pages or a little tear somewhere, um, it's not the end of the world, we can fix it, it's a junk journal. Um, yeah, I am going to cut those down and seal that up, but we'll do it as we work through the journal. And just, I don't want to get sidetracked because I don't want to check all the pages before I start. Start filling it. Yes, it's a little bit warm today actually, after all I've said, although I have got the windows closed all but for a little crack because and that one seems to be in fine. If anything I've put them in a bit tight. <laughs> um, yeah, it's quite windy and it, as you know, it blows my curtain which is a long fine curtain. It's just a curtain I've brought uh, from a previous house until I get my blinds and my, you know, my room done. So it does tend to fly quite easily with the wind. And then it takes papers with it, <laughs> which are on a shelf behind it. And you could imagine, can't you? Yeah, that's not stitched in, so. Yeah, they seem to be. Hold your breath, Denise, so you get to the end. They seem to be in the right way up and reasonably well. Lovely. Okay, so, great stuff. We're on to the fun stuff then, so we're on to embellishing, well, filling. I like to fill my journals first before I embellish them. Um, I did have something for the back, didn't I, I think. I did, after yesterday's video, put these, just grabbed two bags and put them into two separate bags. Um, and there were one or two bits loose, so I hope I've put them in the right bag. Um, what did I do with the piece? I had a piece ready to go in the back. Is this all the other ephemera? Yeah, it was in with, <laughs> here we go. It's a good job it's Saturday tomorrow because gosh, does my desk need clearing? Yeah, they're the front bits. Yeah, it'll, t it'll turn up when I tidy up, but it doesn't seem, oh, that's it, isn't it? Yes, that's it. I just want to see what it looks like because it's kind of yellow on yellow, isn't it? Oh no, I like that because it's going to flip out like that. And um, that's for journaling, so we'll embellish it and whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I might do some, not, I don't think on this video, um, on the next video, I might do some embellishing um, on the front of that, just so that it, uh, collaging is what I meant to say here, yeah. just so that it stands out from the yellow background. Um, yeah, it's a shame to hide that, isn't it? But uh, maybe I can put it in the bottom lot. There's a beautiful bird there and a beautiful bird here. Can't really put it anywhere, it's not going to. Lovely crinkly noise, isn't it? Right, so we'll put that back in there. So let's have a quick look. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I know I counted up yesterday, but I can't for life me remember how many pockets we had. Um, well, that's right, I covered these. 
covered them but they look like they're coming undone what glue did i use on these i used dark glitter didn't i wasn't i frugal and used dark glitter I must not have got to the end not frugal the opposite of frugal <laughs> um mm. it is actually stuck it's just the very very end that's not but it might have a bit of yeah it's literally the let's just trim it and see if that's the case i think it is yeah it's stuck there so i obviously didn't get right to the very very end but very nearly did <laughs> don't need all that much anyway do we it's only the gusset <laughs> i just don't want it to peel up i don't think it will yeah we're not supposed to be making ephemera today we're supposed to be putting it in <laughs> Here's my little bowl. Right, pockets. One, two. We'll put in that in a, as a pocket that way so that we can put stuff in there as well. Oh, it might be. Did I say it'd be too wide? Yeah, it's going to have to be a side, either a side tuck or a belly band, but it's a pocket. Three. Don't get sidetracked on this. That's an over the page, but it's a pocket. Four. Pocket. Five. Right, I've got two of those in here, so one must go in the other. Although I did have three. I'll leave this one in here. Oops, five. That's not a pocket. Six, not a pocket. Seven, eight. It's quite a lot, isn't there? Pockets. You're out of the... We'll leave that out because it's out of the centre. Um, we had two big pieces. I'll leave that till the end. And that's a side pocket. Nine. them back in one bag and then we'll just work on one signature I think so you're not out of there I need to fold this over I'm just trying to think if I've got some that I haven't stitched yet I have um 10 I had a feeling there was 10 I'm just going to do a stitch around them so we won't put those ones in today but I might but I'll leave one there we'll find a space for it and I'll just clip it in because I think I've said to you previously, <laughs> my neighbour's been on nights and I didn't want to get a sewing machine out. I will be getting it out this afternoon because I've, I've made all sorts of little things I want to stitch. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I just feel bad with a sewing machine going when it's been on nights. So <laughs> it's like having two husbands, isn't it? To think about. Okay, I'm just going to because I want to see if any of that black is showing. No, I don't think it is. Just ink the edge. So this is from the kit, the William Morris kit from Nanine on collage type. In collage type, on collage type. I don't know. <laughs> this one out of here. Yes, I think it was. Right. Um, yeah, and I don't know if I'm going to have a vellum envelope at the front or a belly band. I can't decide. We'll see. Anyway, so that's pretty. That's um, that's nice German, but this one probably wants, well, probably on the back then. It would be a good place for a pocket. What pocket would we like there? Love that guy, as you know. Um, now the book page goes on that goes quite well with that I feel um, that one very nearly would go across the page but it'll be fine that way could actually be a three I'm not sure about the green with it though but yeah I'm thinking it could be a tuck behind and a pocket don't lose those which one did I have that I thought I might that one and no too small and that's too much book page so i'm thinking this and um again we could put up something behind it it's quite a, uh, a chunky piece so do i want to put the whole thing down so we can stuff it let's just make that decision 
I've pressed play, haven't I? So <laughs> goodness for that. <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't made anything to go in it yet, but. Um, oh, decisions, decisions. I don't know. And because I don't know, I'm not going to put it in yet, but it is going there. So I think what I'll do is just clip it there and put the others in and see how sort of chunkyish <laughs> we are. So let me just, yeah, I should be able to clip it to that side because that, that will protect it. the page, she says. If you can get the clip on. Go on. Okay, so that's going there. This has got its own same in tuck. Um, again, this is a nice strong page and I'm thinking about this red here and I don't know if this tag is staying in here or not. Um, don't suppose the other one slants the other way by any chance, does it? <laughs> I think it might go on sideways. It does. I must have known. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to, but I'll just have a look. So I'll put that one in there. Um, yeah, that would be a nice sideways. Again, I don't know if this tag's staying in. It's not easy to get a tag in and out of there. Yeah, so I could put that in on three sides. It's probably too big, that tag, anyway put it in on three sides yes I think I will let's make a start let's get the art glitter um yeah so we can tuck something down the back as well so I've got these index cards if you're after some in my Etsy store they come in three colors mixed together if you did just want one color I suppose if you if you dropped me a, a message at the minute while I've got a good view, I could probably do that. Yeah, that'd be nice with a um, something tucked down inside it as well, wouldn't it? And then it's really nice uh, journaling as well. Okay, so I've done two in the front. So I'm going to go to the back. I think that's a nice page for writing on so we'll probably just embellish that um, thinking I might want something on this one but it would have to be not too and again I'm wondering about something in the other packet of course <laughs> Where is it Just bear with me. I'm looking for, just so you know what I'm doing, I'm looking for that when I had just a plain craft card one, didn't I? There it is. So I'm going to swap it over for now. <laughs> if I don't like where it is, I might swap it back again. Yeah, I'm just wondering if that, just being the card like that, would stand out on that quite full on page and um, needs a bit of, just a bit of something. So I'm thinking. Um, a bit of stamp um, script that's what I'm trying to say script stamp <laughs> I was busy thinking where everything was um, yeah I was just one wondering if I wanted anything else on it but I don't because the whole point of it is that it's neutral somewhere for your eye to have a minute <laughs> a quick minute and yeah and that can have some light little frillies in it and I quite like it in that bottom corner I know I put a lot in that corner but that was a nice quick one wasn't it so that's three we've got in already seven more to go <laughs> it's going to be a chunky one I think we can safely say I haven't been up to anything particularly since I last uh, filmed and spoke to you. Um, no, I had my lamb for tea. I think I told you I was having lamb. <laughs> it was very nice. Neil's chuffed to bits because he's a real meat eater. He loves meat. Not that he didn't have it, but 
he likes it, he's having it a lot more than he used to. <laughs> I'm not sure that that's on straight, Denise, but it's on now, so. Yeah, it's on now. Yeah, that's nice. Let's move that. So that's two in the front and one in the back so far. Now I was wondering about. No. That one's got to go that way, so that really wants to be in the front, I think. Yeah. Does it? No, just needs to be on the left hand side. Quite nice on that, isn't it? Yeah, I think if I just, as soon as I see something that's quite nice, I'm just going to do it because, because I've got so many pockets and there are so many beautiful pages, I could just continuously change them about. So I'm just going to, when I want put something down and I quite like it, Fix it, glue it. Okay, I've got a few nice uh, new journals coming in the pipeline as well. Uh, yeah, I've got a, another DT uh, design team project for. Let me try and get this a bit nearer. Can you see it? I was a bit far away from you as well. We were both struggling to see it there. <laughs> Um, Fiona at Lavender Blue Art and uh, yeah I wasn't going to do a journal but I am because <laughs> I just love the paper so much so it's a lovely it's the herb kit if you want to go on and have a look I'm going to do the herb journal um, and then I've got another one coming up for Nanine and then I'll think I've got another one coming up that hasn't been mentioned yet so I better not in case it hasn't. Right we want this lovely rabbit in the back as well somewhere so I'm close to the middle am I because that's two front and two back isn't it? Yeah oh, still a fair bit right so that's the middle we're going to fasten you down in a minute. That really is some nice German space, but that I'll, I'm quite liking this blue with this. Is it the same? Yes, it could be part of the same pattern. I don't know. I don't know. There's just something about him on that one, isn't there? Yeah. So do like you said you was going to do, Denise. If you like it somewhere. So I'm just folding these by eye. Like I say, I can do it on my scorer. Sometimes it's not worth the effort because I end up refolding it by hand or I put it down and it's wonky anyway. So so today I'm in the mindset, just fold it. You'd think I'd get it straight because there's a, you know, the pattern changes, but no, not always. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. But he is in here a few a few times and he will be in here a few times more because there's those lovely tickets with him on so I make no excuses for that. I love him. <laughs> oh I'm not putting the lid on this it's gonna it's gonna stop soon and have a tantrum. Although I am using quite a bit so maybe it will stay with me. Yeah, Neil's gone to work today and I am starting to Look forward to our three days away at York. I am thinking about the clothes we're taking and getting the house ready, getting the filming ready, of course. <laughs> I've got two, he's got two more days at work and then he's off Sunday, which we will be going to the car boot. <laughs> and I've already got a little bit of a haul to show you, so I might wait until we've been to the car boot. Then he's got two days at work again. I don't have to go over that hole, I quite like it on that red thing no below it um yeah sunday off and then he's got two more days at work is that right monday tuesday yeah that's right and then we're going Yay. lovely little boy <laughs> yes don't know he's getting daft right how many have i got in now then is that five so where's the other five one two three four 
what else? Oh, this. Ping. I keep pinging that bowl. It's quite nice, isn't it? <laughs> it's like ringing for tea, if only. If only somebody brought me some. <laughs> Again, I'll embellish this when it's on rather than before we put it on. I just want today to get the pockets in and then give the book time to like settle. Um, I will do some work on it tomorrow. I know it's Saturday and we're going to do a bit of desk clearing, but we'll also do a little a little bit in the book as well because I know we've, uh, we've missed using it. Right, so they're my five. I've got three at the back so far. Let me find the middle. I might put a string or something down the middle so I can <laughs> find it easier. One, two. Oh, I wasn't really in the. Well, it was in the back, wasn't it? But it's only just three. Okay, so maybe we need something to balance it. I'm not necessarily on the same piece, maybe here, because this is quite plain, isn't it? Let's go for something here. How strong is it? So it's not particularly strong. It's got that purple up there. I've got put that flower there again, look. So that needs to go in with a clip, doesn't it? Because it needs stitching. Yeah. So you're going there. That's you know, one front, one back. So we've got two front and two back. Right, let's see if we can find. I mean, if, that, if I don't stick that down, that will go in somewhere like that, because that's a pocket, isn't it? That didn't count. Mm. Right, let's have a look where I think is. That one definitely wants something on it, doesn't it? So one side will have something on, the other side will be embellished. Um, quite strong. It looks lost on it so it's either this which I quite like on there or this but I did quite like that with that thread there kind of echoes it doesn't it if I bring it down a bit as well hmm and I'll put it on as a tuck or a belly band it would make a nice belly band I can't hear you, and my brain's not telling me. <laughs> right. So I liked it there, didn't I? There's not much room if it's a belly band for whatever I put in it to come out here. Um, I haven't got any tags in here. That's all the tags from this. Oh dear, I didn't touch that, it fell on its own. It might as well go down as a as if it was a belly band. Well, it would come through a little bit, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's go belly band. Just for a change all the way. Where are the belly bands? Did I not just make two belly bands for this? I did, didn't I? We did them together. Why are they not in these packets? Wonder where they are. They must be in the box somewhere. I'll have a look when I turn the camera off, obviously, <laughs> because oh, there would be a crafter lunch and I don't want you to see and hear it. Okay, so we want it, I still want it a bit lower. I don't want it middle, even though it's a, it's just something about all these lines, even though it's a belly band, it doesn't have to be centralized, no rules. You might put something on there, a little to close it down and um, embellish it. And yeah, something like that, maybe even a little bit bigger than that will go in there. I think we're going to need some tabs on the uh, pages as well. And I'm being gung ho, aren't I? And just shutting the pages where I've glued on them. Is there any? Oh, that's definitely sideways on you. You can drive me nuts. Never mind. Never mind. Let it go. <laughs> Don't sing to me. No, you're not sticking anywhere.
Hmm, just wondering about something here. What about an over a page? This is an over a page, wasn't it? Which way was I? Oh, I thought I'd made a tab for it. I haven't. Oh, how come? So it's a pocket either side. Yeah, I think I said... Oh no, it wasn't an over the page, it was a glue it down, that was right. Yeah, I was going to glue that down, it was over the page. <laughs> I'll get it right in a minute, but I think it was over the top because, oh no. It's like a flip out. Oh, I know why it was sideways, because that would be a, an upside down pocket. I should have done it at the top. We can use an upside down bucket then, can't we? No, I really want it over the top of the page. That's a shame because it goes really nice there. Um, no, I don't like those colours together. No. Okay, let's keep trying. the side that's closed fastened down mm, not convinced well, that's the back right so perhaps I need to go back in the front so we've got we've got one oh, I've got one stuck on somewhere oh yeah that I'm having that in there that's got its ordinary. Well, we seem to have quite a lot in the front until we get to here. Oh, we've got one there. Yeah, we've got quite a lot of um, pockets in, haven't we? Did I say I didn't like it on there? I can't remember. No. I'm not sure I'm even going to like that as I've made it might put that one just down as a pocket like that much prefer it that could be a side tuck somewhere then if I wanted or it could just go in a pocket yeah I'm going to cut it off whoops a daisy it's a book book guts as they call it fell from my desk onto my drawer and when I opened my drawer it fell from the drawer to the floor. Right, which one do I want? This this one with it at the top. I think it'll go nice in there. I have to do it that way to make sure it's square. Square with itself if you know what I mean. <laughs> not very square right it could be my eyes let's see no it's not right, they're still closed both sides you are I didn't expect that I expected a no am I right way up <laughs> yes is that where I was putting it lost it now I think that was it. I'm quite liking it on one of these. I'm just thinking this page could do with a bit of something down it. Let's see if I've got any page edge. Just feels a bit short. Oh no, I've got page edges, any of that go, <laughs> that's what I was trying to say. Tempting to get out but didn't. Too fussy. Um, I'm having this behind it as so well, yeah, I quite like that. Let's have a look at that one then. I like it when I use stuff about my stash as well. Uh, even stick over couldn't it 
No, it's a bit too much. Let's chop that. That last bit off there. Just glue those end stitches so they stay put. Want it closer to the edge, don't I? Yeah. Oops. Ringing again. Am I doing the right side? Yeah. Because <laughs> I want a bit of the other side hanging over just to elongate the page, uh, widen the page a little, I should say. Can't see where I've been now and where I haven't. If I push the book up out the way again, yes. There we go. Just got a bit of that off. It's kind of clashy but nice, isn't it? Yeah, like that. I didn't think about that. <laughs> hmm. Looks like we're going to have some lace on you. Is my lace here within grabbing? No. I'm just thinking, didn't I have some in the box that I was using? Some lace. Did I tidy it away? I must have done. Don't think there'll be anything long enough in here. I've got plenty though. Let me just put a strip of lace up it to put some yellow. Is that a bit shocking or is it? Uh, Oh no, I like it. It's in keeping with the colours, I think. Is it a tad bright? I like it though. No, I definitely like the... Hmm, no, I like the yellow. I'm just wondering if I could just ink it a little bit. I don't want to change it an awful lot. Just a tad, yeah, I know, ink glue. You want your stopper in. Might even be too late, but we'll give it a go. I've been, I've been coffee dyeing my hands are absolutely brown. The nails, the cuticles. Oh, why can I never do that left handed? It's bizarre. I don't want to go down very fast, so we might have a problem. Right, let's have a look at this and see. Seems a shame to waste the ink when we could be. That's the right side. Using it on the paper. Don't know if it's going through or not. Out. <laughs> I think it probably is. It's just taking that very top bright note off it. Still clearly yellow still bright just not quite as yeah um yeah don't need that don't need you that little bit of snippet that i've cut off well hang on to it you never know yeah i mean if it was patterned i wouldn't have minded but it's got the um i like the stitching it's got the it's got masking tape on it. So I might just leave it proud a bit each end. Just so I've got lots of different levels. Yeah. Okay, Art Glitter, did we do you in time? Are you going to play? Yes, is the answer. Shouldn't need an awful lot, it's only light lace. <coughs> Could be one of those happy accidents, this with the yeah, I like the stitches showing through it. And now oh oh come on. I think the stitches might have just soaked up all that glue. It's going to have to be a bit of the fabric tack, which takes forever and a day to dry. 
try not to overdo it because it, it doesn't need a lot just need it to grab let's grab a little bit there it's grabbed at the bottom and not in the middle maybe that's just where I didn't put any okay between the two glues we should be fine it's just I've now got to make sure I don't close my page and glue it closed and I want to work on that so I need a little plasticky thing in there as if by magic <laughs> there we go shouldn't stick now because I was putting where did it go this on yeah um, it wants to be all on um yeah go on Denise why not I really need to get another glue out though stop using this all the time shouldn't need too much actually if there's plenty on the edges plenty on there where it's going to be maybe pulled <laughs> to get the card in and out yeah like it <laughs> I thought it was a fussy page it is now it just seems a bit cut off there I'm wondering about I know we're not embellishing but while I'm thinking about it what colours have we got going on think about a bit of washy handmade it's a postcard so yeah this one's got postal things on it what do we think to the colours I'm just going to pull some out and see yeah it kind of blends in and yet And yet what? And yet it's obviously there. I don't know how up I went. Doesn't need a lot to hold it in. Oh, it's a long way. I didn't want it to just look like it was on that and nothing else. That's it. Let's get rid of that big box out the way. We've got enough going on here. Yeah, it's quite see-through as well, so it, it disappears into the... Lovely. That's give it a lot of strength as well. You down there, not really. Let's have a look what's going on. Oh, it's where I, uh, where I trimmed it. I thought I was doing well, saying it was shut. It wasn't there. It is now. I wonder if to put some out of that up it. So it does look like it's stuck on with it. Perhaps a short piece this time. Yeah. Give it a bit of extra security. And a bit more embellishing. It says fragile. nearly empty well it feels it we're just a bit long there That's it. super I'm getting a bit of embellishing in by the side door cheating aren't I yeah like that oh stuck to me and how many pay how many have we got I'm just going to do this for this front one and then I'll do the I'll put the um pockets in the back one <laughs> off camera because then we can have the fun of filling and embellishing uh, how many more pockets did I have to go in two didn't I this and this possibly right so let's have a look at the whole thing from the beginning the whole signature so we haven't got anything on this here or here but we're going to have one over the page that's going to be a lot of weight from there I think no that's going to have something in it there not this but I was wondering if I want something on there not that though that's not the it's not what I want there 
Hmm, now what about, because we've got the birds here. We've got Edith Holden birds in here. Can you see it? And uh, the rabbit and moth on there. It's quite a chunky piece. I'm just wondering if I could put it down, you know, when I took as well, but I don't think so. I think it will all have to go down as a... I could, though. What I could do once it's down and I'm embellishing, I could put some hidden journal behind it as well. That's a good idea. Let's just give it a little bit of a border, I think. Yeah, and it'll, you know, it'll probably have a label or something on it as well. Maybe one just going off the page somewhere. No, onto the vellum. Yeah, I think I'll just pop it right in the middle there. It should hold because it's got quite a big um, flap. <laughs> Yay, <laughs> got the word. It's got quite a big flap to hold it, to glue, to hold it down. And then, yeah, I probably will put something, whether it be a big label or some journaling papers. When we're embellishing underneath, that'll hold it a bit further as well. Right, have I got the edges? That's the thing. I don't think so. Yes, let's have it the right way, Denise. <laughs> um, did you say about there? Out there. Right, no, up a lot. Gosh, <laughs> we're off the bottom of the page then. I only just moved it in time. Ooh. Yeah, that is a big piece holding it down and it is holding it down well. It grabbed it really quick and um, it's just in for the page. Just missed the stitching. Yeah, we'll put something on there. So just this one, if I decide to go with it, it I think it's just looking a bit not very... Um, not going with the journal at the minute, it's very thick as well, just because it's not been embellished with anything. So I think rather than force it, I think I'll just leave it in the, because uh, we've got a lot going on there haven't we, we want stitching. Yeah, I think by the time we get tags in all those things, let's glue this. Um, don't think I'll put a small bow I don't it's just in case anybody has to undo it and you know adjust hopefully they everything's nice and solid I don't want you to get in the way of the window though no you're all right I'll soon be able to get my scissors in and snip it if it's not won't I I don't know, you're being a bit of a pain now. After I've said all that, you have you that small. That's better. There's still enough to grab if we, we or somebody else has to go in and do anything to it. Hopefully they won't, but I do like to be <laughs> ready for all circumstances. Up. I put some paper in there, shouldn't I? I don't think anything's come through. Lovely. It's loosening up as I as I'm working on it, so it's not quite as stiff as it was. Right, so we will call that a day with putting things in. Let's just have a look how many we got in. One, two, well, how many there will be? So that'll be three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there's gonna, it's gonna be some weight, isn't there? Um, I won't put that in yet, but we've got the middle one for there. Whoops. Took it in like that. So that's 
so without the middle envelope, nine. That's a tuck, ten. Eleven. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve pockets in the front so far, pockets and tucks. So if we end up with the same in the back, yeah. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for spending time with me. Um, like I say, I will, I'll do a little bit with it tomorrow, Saturday. So I will um, try and get the other pockets stuck in. I can't guarantee though. Um, yeah, so we can do a little bit of embellishing, but we'll see but we'll be tidying the desk first. <laughs> okay, thanks ever so much. Give me a thumbs up if you can. It'd be lovely if you chat to me and um, yeah, come and see me tomorrow. Bye for now.